had just found out that the medication my doctor wants me to begin, hopefully in July, is being outlawed in some states for women who are viably fertile because they are viewing it as a medication that can be used for abortion. This is Becca, who goes by Classifras on TikTok. She just learned a medication her doctor wants her to take will be denied to her, not because of unavailability, not because it isn't the right medication for her, not because of cost, but because she's viably fertile. So instead of being able to walk, or being able to raise my arms over my head, or being able to go a single day without pain. <laughs> Fuck you. This is Rebel HQ. I'm Sandy Lovas. Accessing healthcare in America was already a struggle between finding doctors, filling out insurance forms, co-pays, people pushing their religious beliefs on you, and so on. On top of everything Americans must deal with, people can now legally be denied medications if there is a potential they could get pregnant. One of the scariest things of Roe v. Wade being overturned is we don't know how bad it's going to get. We don't know all the ways it will be used by theocrats to restrict people's freedoms. Already millions of people are suffering. I have no doubt since the ruling, some people have died because they couldn't get the care they needed. And if nothing is done to fix this, there will come a day when everyone in the States will know of at least one person who has nearly died or died because of lack of treatment. A modern day court ruling that rolls back the rights for hundreds of millions of people is appalling. When other countries do this, they're called out by other nations. And until recently, that included the states. Things aren't perfect up here in Canada. Many struggle to get access to abortions, which is guaranteed to us under our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. But something I've never had to worry about is Canada's Supreme Court rolling back my rights. Most Canadians wouldn't be able to tell you how many people are on the Supreme Court, let alone what any of their names are. And the rulings I've heard about are ones that have moved this country forward and are good for the people. What I've seen in the U.S., ruling after ruling in favor of corporations, in favor of the powerful, rulings that hurt the people the court was meant to protect, shocks me that it's allowed. I can't imagine the fear so many Americans must be feeling, worrying about what the next rulings will bring. The American Supreme Court was manipulated into a tool for far-right religious extremists to pull the country back to their interpretation of the original Constitution. It can't be considered a legitimate institution anymore. Now, I'm not saying America has to do this, but in Canada, there's an independent nonpartisan commission that selects qualified candidates for the Supreme Court, which are not lifetime appointments, and our Constitution gets updated over time. Might be worth a try. For more of my stuff, look for me on social media as left of the box. Don't forget to hit buttons and leave comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, get informed, get involved.